All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at AWS reInvent, and I'm with Max, who's the CEO at Pink App, and Sogay from Atlassian. Welcome to the Robert Show. Such a pleasure to host you both today. We are towards the end of day four of just reInvent. Technically, day three. I know the the booth has been super busy. Max, uh, I've seen so many people around. Yeah. So I'm seeing such great conversations that you all have had. I've been talking to the team as well. All the great things. But before getting into the conversation and learning more about the partnership that you have with Atlassian, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do, and then we'll talk about Sergey as well. Well, thank you. Pink App is the company behind open source database TidyB, right? And TidyB is a distributed, you know, MySQL protocol compatible database. Yep. And、uh, it's super scalable. And we are super glad that we have and Sergey here today. Yes, visit our booth. Yes, Sergey, would you like to tell us a little about yourself too? Sure, sure. My name is Sergey. I represent Atlassian here. I'm responsible for storage infrastructure. We run probably one of the biggest,、uh, largest Postgres fleets in the world, and we face some unique challenges、uh, regarding to that, and that's why basically we are in partnership right now. With- Max, you almost started close to ten years back,、mm-hmm. right? What were the problems you were looking at almost ten years back that、mm-hmm. you still feel are relevant? And you've been, you know, obviously engineer at heart. We were talking backstage, and、yeah. you were mentioning that you still love coding. You still love, you know, obviously all the innovations that are happening, and you still、mm-hmm. are hands on、mm-hmm. with that. Would you like to tell us a little about what was back then? You still see it happening, but the way of how people have started looking at、mm-hmm. it has changed a little bit, maybe. And you know what? After ten years, you know there are still so many you know engineers are struggling on scaling their databases, right? And we want to you know help them to enjoy life. Yeah. And it's it's getting worse actually. You know, for the past ten years, we get more and more data. You don't know databases. Well, you you always have a limit there, right? We need a scalable solution. We need a scalable database. And we see it everywhere. Yeah. No, I think that's definitely a problem that has been there for a while, and、yeah. it still continues. And definitely in the future, we are seeing it to continue、yes. at a much larger level. So you all are there to support the engineers to make sure that they don't have to be awake at 3 a.m. in the night <laughs> and and do all all the work that they do. Thanks for sharing that, Max. Quick question for you, Sogay. Many people out there know Jira Confluence as major names, but those that don't, it lies in. Can you introduce a little bit about that and tell us more about what you do? Sure, sure. So Jira, like it's a well-known project management issue tracking solution, Confluence is like content management solution. But besides that, Atlassian also has some other products like Trail, Ops Genie, Loom. But I guess what what actually makes Atlassian unique compared to the competition, we are. Compliant with all kind of regulations when it comes to regulated industries or enterprise customers, which require like very strict workload isolation, security isolation. That's what Atlassian provides. Yep. But that creates unique challenges, and a lot often people think about scale in terms of the amount of data and、mm-hmm. traffic. In case of Atlassian, it's actually number of tenants that we have to manage and support、right. and and guarantee this level of isolation that we provide them, and that's another type of scale. And it was when we like we have our current solution based on the Postgres. It works for us, but we keep growing, and also we keep rolling out new products like、right. Forge, for example. This is a platform which allows third-party developers to add plugins to Jira and Confluence, and that adds another dimension. Besides all our customers, we also have plugins which can be installed to the context of any every customers.、Right. So which basically multiplies the scale for us.、Yeah. Now we manage like to give you some numbers. We have like officially we have 300,000 paying customers, but this,、wow. besides that we have premium customers. So we,、yeah. it, we are talking about millions、yeah. here.、Exactly. And if you add plugins on top of that, we are talking about huge scale. Huge scale. And、right. in order to guarantee this scale, we basically provision separate database for every our tenant, and that basically creates a lot of unique problems. And when we were searching for the solution right now in the market with all those like you, you see a bunch of for database that、yeah. advertise limit, unlimited scale. It's unlimited when it comes to data, but it's not unlimited when it comes to the number of databases, and that's where TidyB shines. Actually, that's basically how basically we found solution that we feel might work not only for this new platform but also for our main workloads like Jira. Yeah, I think you've kind of mentioned one thing very rightly, which is about 
there are thousands of problems, but there are very few databases out there who can really solve the problem. And PinCap is one of those. It's kind of, you know, obviously been shining. I've, I've, you know, I'm, I'm based out of Mumbai. I know, you know, folks in, in India, and I know one of the biggest Flipkart. Yes. Flipkart chain yeah. is one of the biggest ones that yeah. use StyleDB, and they, they've been doing such great things in the space, and they look, they look so confident. So that's a good, that's a good choice that you'll have. Uh, you know, some of their experiences. You know, there are a few public blogs. Yep. You know, on how to use TDB, you know, how to benchmark TDB to get really high QPS and millions of QPS. Any anything else that you would like to share in terms of so, okay, how how did it all start? How's it going? Uh, and how do you see it in the future as well? So a little about that. Sure, sure. Right now, we basically we are in early access program for our plugin platform, which right. is called Forge SQL. That's pretty much database as a service for third party developers. So we see how it goes. We are planning to be in production February, March next year. Our internal plans, we also want to expand partnership. Like I said, we have our main workloads, Jira and Confluence, and I hope this basic partnership expands to those products. Fantastic. I think this is a great opportunity yeah. to ask Sergey. You know, since you guys have met many, you know, scalable, you know, scaling issues and, you know, challenges, how do you, you know, define your success criteria while choosing a database to solve those challenges? And how do you get started and how do you verify and what makes you feel, you know, confident enough? Could you share, you know, how, what, what do you think, you know, how, how should you do benchmark things? How do you test it? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, definitely we'd like to do regular uh, synthetic tests in terms of the verify, like marketing data. Everyone, I guess, when it comes to the marketing materials, everyone claims like we are like 10 times more performant. Yeah, yeah we like to verify this actually yeah. internally. But besides the verifying the QPS and the amount of data we can upload, like I said, we have unique requirements in terms of the number of tenants for which we provision individual databases. Mm -hmm. In order to manage this fleet, we need to understand how this database, like perspective database, can mm -hmm. handle this amount of metadata. Yeah. And also what kind of operational burden we are going to have to manage this. Like we have current solution based on Postgres, mm -hmm. but obviously like it has a lot of limitations and we have like huge SRE team who basically is responsible mm -hmm. for managing this. And this, our success criteria, if we decide to migrate to some other new solutions, would be basically, mm -hmm. besides reducing like operational costs, so we need to reduce infrastructure costs. I guess mm -hmm. operational costs, infrastructure costs are very mm -hmm. important mm -hmm. factors while meeting our current SLOs. Well, good points. You know, so, you know, when, when you talk about, you know, scalability, you know, that's one of my favorite topics, right? I can never stop. For everyone. Trust yeah. me, yeah. You know, for every customer, I will ask them. Yeah. So why you choose TiDB? Mm -hmm. So the most the common answer is scalability. True. Right? But when talk about you know scalability, they were talking about different things. Very true. Very true. Yeah. For example, when we talk about scalability, you know, usually by default, you feel like hey, we are talking about data volume, right? Exactly. Right. Hundreds of terabytes of data, or petabytes of data, or you know, tens of terabytes of data, and then. You know, about the traffic, the QPS and the TPS. Right. That actually, you know, indicates the, you know, right, read and write scalability, right? You, you want to scale your write operations. And that some of our customers are using, you know, PHP as their programming languages. So they have lots of collections connected to the database to do, you know, CRUD things, right? So in that perspective, you have to make your database able to handle lots of connections. Right. You know, that's another dimension. And after that, and we met customers, you know, like at the last thing, they want, you know, database to support so many, you know, tables, what we call it, you know, metadata management. Yes. That's actually super challenging for any distributed database, right? So TiDB, you know, I'm not sure, but I think that it's probably the only database, I mean, distributed database that can handle that large amount of metadata, that large amount of tables, right? Millions of tables. Sergey just mentioned another dimension, which I really, you know, like to talk about it, which is op your operational cost, right? Now, speaking of those customers, such as, you know, SaaS customers, you have so many, you know, users, they actually have the same schema, or most of them, 
you have the same schema, you know, the same table structure, the same index, right? Right. But if you, let's say, if you want to force a specific query to use a specific index, if you're using, you know, traditional databases, you are going to write that SQL, you know, tens of thousand times. Right. You know, you want to apply that rule. So all in all, for a multi-tenancy architecture, talking about scalability things, there are pretty much, you know, 10 to 12 dimensions you need to evaluate to make sure, hey, when we talk about you know, scalability, it means, you know, different dimensions of scalability. Right, right. That's super hard and super challenging for any databases. Exactly. Yeah. No, I think, see, I told you I can go on and I can yeah, hear right. for even longer time. But keeping that in mind, obviously, it has been such a pleasure chatting with you, Max. So, okay, yourself too. We all have amazing, you know, obviously, customer partnership relation that you all have. One thing that, one more question that I have and last question for both of you is if they want to learn more about, you know, your both partnership and they want to reach out to you, which is the best place? LinkedIn, X, where can they reach out? I know website would be the best place as well and I'm pretty sure there's a case study around it too where they can learn about it. So Max, so okay, where can they reach out to you? Oh, for me, it's LinkedIn, the easiest way for me. To, like, I'm happy to reply and explain whatever details needed. <laughs> Fantastic. Max, for you? LinkedIn is definitely a good choice. Yep. And, you know, GitHub is another way. Nice. You know, I'm a huge fan of open source, right? And we are open source companies, so, and also Twitter. Okay. Or X. X. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there are multiple platforms where you can reach out to Max and for Sergey, it's LinkedIn. But such a pleasure chatting with both of you. Great insights, great partnership that you'll have. And definitely looking forward to keeping the conversation going, learning more about Atlassian and TileDB together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.